Hi, I'm AJ Turner with Envy Composites. And today we're gonna go over disassembly, assembly, and basic maintenance of our alloy and carbon hubs. Our hub systems are all very similar in that they're tool free to remove the end caps, the free hubs, and then to do any further maintenance such as replacing bearings, all you need are snap ring pliers and maybe a pick to remove a ratchet or a seal. We'll start by pulling off the end caps. They should come off very easily. Uh, there's wire form to hold them on. Um, then we'll pull off the drive side here and the free hub end cap there and ratchet or free hub there. Um, and then from there you'll see beneath we have the spring that works against the ratchets to allow the free wheeling. So then you'll remove the ratchet system. Um, we've got two ratchets here. You can see they work against each other. You can see the ratchets here, how they work. You've got the two interfaces here that allow your coasting and your driving mechanism, as well as their interfaces on the outside that work against the hub shell, as well as the free hub. You'll want to clean away any excess grease or any old grease, and you'll see there's one more seal in there that we'll pull out that goes underneath that last ratchet and that exposes the, the axle and the bearings. On the other side, to remove the axle or bearings, there's a snap ring that we'll remove. Remove the snap ring, and then also the wave washer underneath the snap ring. And then from there, we have the ability to fully remove the axle um, should it need to be replaced. Also, now you have access to the bearings. If the bearing, when you're spinning it, feels crunchy or gives you any kind of resistance, it will need to be replaced, um, in which case you'll want to use a bearing press to remove the bearing and press in a new fresh bearing. If the bearing feels smooth and doesn't give any resistance or doesn't feel crunchy, it's good to go. Just wipe it down and re-grease um, and then reassemble. Um, to reassemble, we'll press back in the axle there. We'll reinstall the wave washer on the non-drive side and reinstall the snap ring over the top. Then we'll put back on the seal that goes under the first ratchet. We'll put the first ratchet in with the interface, the outward facing interface facing up. Then next is the next ratchet with the other interface facing down. Next is the spring. Next is the free hub body. It should slide on. And then finally the end caps that should pop into place. This is the uh, front hub and this is a carbon front hub. Um, the process for this is exact same as the alloy front hub. Um, and the rear carbon hub, the process is exactly the same as the alloy rear hub. The only difference between any of them is the uh, hub shell material. So we'll start by pulling off the end caps. These come off uh, just like the rear hub, uh, tool free. And you'll notice this is the exact same setup. We have a snap ring with a wave washer um, and then just a retention on the other side. Um, again, we'll just use the snap ring tool to remove this one. And then the wave washer. And now we have full access to the axle and the bearings. So we can press out the axle and we can feel if the bearing needs to be replaced, if it's crunchy or if it's smooth. We'll just wipe down any old grease and apply new grease. Very light coat. And then we'll reinstall, we'll press the axle back in. Reinstall the wave washer. and then reinstall the snap ring. And 
And then we just put back on the end caps. And you're good to go.